is Tuesday the 8th of January 2019. I'm Councillor Graham Campbell and as you can see I'm back in my car because I'm going to have a look three weeks on at the Hamilton Road, Commercial Road and Glassford Road Junction in Straven. So my first comment is it's a much nicer day uh, in January than it was back in December when I made the last video on this particular uh, junction layout change. As you can see the, the temporary sign uh, saying the road layout change is there just beyond the petrol station um, on the Gable Road. Not made easy by that uh, parked van but it is there. Um, uh, we can also see that the um, <coughs> right hand bend sign is there. Uh, lit. Um, there's still a giveaway sign there. I'll come back to that a little bit later uh, in my uh, in this particular vlog. But um, traffic is smooth, running smoothly. Uh, I accept this is uh, I don't know what time it is, 10 a.m. So um, I expect that it's uh, it's probably a lot worse at busy hours. Uh, but I'll come back and look at it uh, from Commercial Road in a second. Just passing North Street on Commercial Road, heading back up to the new junction. I uh, can see the road layout chain sign is there, um, the uh, priority left turn sign is there. Uh, not sure if that's lit yet, I've not actually driven this at, uh, in the dark, um, no, not that I've noticed the sign there. Uh, junction's clear but as I say it is just after 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'd expect it to be nothing else but clear uh, at this time. And we're through the junction, uh, I'll come back and uh, stop and have a closer look at the junction uh, in a second. Okay, so coming down Hamilton Road, the first sign you'll come to is the road layout chain sign just below the petrol station. Sign that you come to uh, showing you clearly that the road is bending to the right and therefore that tells me that drivers on Hamilton Road have priority into commercial road. I read on the Straven Facebook page last night that somebody was saying that there is still a giveaway sign on Hamilton Road on entering commercial road. I completely accept that. I can see that now that uh, this giveaway sign is still there. I will take a photograph of it uh, in a few minutes and I will inform the council right away that they need to get the contractor back out uh, to fix the signage. I can see that these signs are still, a lot of the signs are still temporary. Uh, they've been in place for what, three to four weeks now and they really should have been sorted out by now in my opinion. The footpath here is not finished again not really happy about that the contractor has had plenty of time in my opinion to get back and do it um, and uh, clearly this still needs some work again I will take some photographs shortly and let the council know. I think approaching from Glassford Road um, the signage is uh, pretty clear uh, that certainly there's speed bumps um, you should be driving pretty slowly at this point and you are approaching a giveaway uh, turning right to Hamilton. Back on the commercial road side heading back up towards the junction the first sign that low road layout change is there. Uh, it's not lit, it, I suppose it'll be a temporary sign but uh, uh, it is there showing you that the road layout has changed. The sign which is lit um, on the lamppost here is showing that uh, the road is bending to the left and therefore you've got priority. I still have a concern that this is behind a hedge. I have asked the council to look into this and I will report back as I get more information. Okay, back in the kitchen, um, just made myself a cup of coffee. My first initial thoughts on the junction as it sits right now um, are that it certainly doesn't look uh, completed to me. Um, that giveaway sign at the bottom of Hamilton Road um, with the temporary signs uh, is quite frankly just confusing. Um, and the footpath, um, sweeping footpath on the left hand side of Hamilton Road into Glassford Road uh, is not completed. And that quite frankly, three, four weeks after uh, the initial junction uh, was instated, um, isn't good enough and I will uh, contact Rhodes about that. Yes, it was um, instated uh, with absolutely no warning. Uh, I had a meeting with the Straven Community Council um, Transport Working Group and senior officers of South Lanarkshire literally only two days before the junction change was made and they didn't even know anything about it themselves. So we were caught out um, uh, totally surprised uh, when it suddenly appeared uh, one dark December night uh, and the senior council roads officers have apologized for that and, and, and guys it's happened there's nothing I can do I can't go back on it um, something uh, went wrong communication was appalling and the council have apologized but the fact that 
the junction change is there. Uh, it is there now. Um, it is not going to change in a hurry. Uh, I know some of you detest it, um, don't like it, um, but quite frankly, um, it was consulted on as part of the legislative planning process. Um, there were um, no complaints. I have spoken to several people in the Straven Community Council who clearly remember the um, the conversations that I'd had with the public uh, back during the planning process uh, in regards to this junction change. Um, and now it is simply going to be a time for reflection. The council, um, it, when implementing any road um, layout change, have got to uh, continuously review that change. Uh, and I will certainly be taking a very close watch on what's happening in partnership with my councillor colleagues, um, Isabel Dorman and Margaret Cooper. Uh, we're all watching this um, layout change because we accept that it is a major change to the road layout in Straven. It is not the first and it will certainly not be the last as Straven continues to grow and expand. So my initial work this morning will be to contact SLC Roads and uh, request an update on what's happening about the signage, um, the temporary signage issues the comp and basically the completion of the junction change. That is the responsibility of the East Overton contractor uh, and I have no doubt that the council roads guys will be on to that immediately. So until the next vlog, my name is Councillor Graham Campbell. Thank you for watching.